it's going to be warm. Um, for the most part, there's no more uh, frost in the forecast. It still could happen, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cover all these bananas and my bananas back there. And uh, I did some ones in the front already. So, um, first thing I'm going to have to do is just get all this mulch and dead leaves and everything off. And then I'm going to line them back here where the old compost was. And now I think I'm just going to um, just plant a bunch of random green things there. And over here where I've been making a new um, raised bed, I'm going to plant probably um, squash and things like that. And I can't decide if I want to um, put grass in here and just keep mowing it or turn it into a bed. I'll probably grow stuff in it though just because it's already there. And um, back here is where I will layer all of that and then take the mulch from that and layer it and make like a like another raised bed back here. All the leaves and everything that I piled on top. You see, it's just mulch that I piled on top of the um, base of it to keep it alive. And here's what's left of a bunch of the stems from last year. This is a pretty big one here. This is a stem. There'll be little shoots inside here maybe that are alive that are small, so I have to be careful digging through here not to break any off. But I'm going to remove all the mulch and um, put it somewhere throughout the garden in different spots. And then this one here is the same way. It's just covered with, there's mulch and then all the leaves and stuff on top, like there, that I removed. I'm just going to pile them next to that. Underneath where all the mulch is, I can just uh, remove that and I'll put that around my trees and things and then... Uh, that I will just keep stepping on and it'll, it'll break down actually pretty fast. I make something like this out of it, which eventually breaks down into um, a little mound like this and, and like this here where you can't really tell. So here you take all the mulch away and um, this is kind of what you're left with. Sometimes they're alive and about the star or more um, and sometimes they're nothing left at all and new ones come up all around where the old ones are. And then this one might do a little bit of both because some of this is still alive. And it might come back from this, but it'll definitely make new, new shoots. I'll cover my figs here. I do the same thing with my figs. Keep them alive. We have one here and one there. And hopefully it'll bounce back real well and uh, Make some figs this year.